What's up guys, FrugalBC back with another great Algorand video. Tons of Algorand news today, a lot of Algorand gaming news. Got some other stuff besides that and stick to the end because we got a pretty big news item that we're gonna cover toward the end of the video. So watch that on today's FrugalBC. By the way guys, if you like this kind of stuff, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I appreciate that a lot. As I always say, you don't have to smash it, you can just press it gently. You can smash it if you want, I'm just saying you don't have to. Uh, we're always bringing you the truth in crypto, bringing you the good, the bad, and everything in between. I don't sugarcoat anything. That's how we That's how we do things on this channel. We do the experiment. So, um, Also, by the way, we have channel memberships for only a dollar. You could have watched this video before a lot of the other subscribers. It's only one dollar. Channel memberships in the description below. So go check that out. Uh, you can find that on our, our homepage on youtube.com slash frugalbc. And we are brought to you by Non-Fungible Domains Played It. I almost said play during game. Uh, naming service for Algorand domain service. So you can have, instead of all those complicated letters and numbers, you can have a .algo address, just like mine, frugalbc.algo. Uh, really easy to remember, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. It's been working really well for me for, for a couple years now. So check that out in the description below. But let's get to some of this news. First off, um, and I didn't include this yesterday, but the Fame Project, which is a platform uh, marketplace for farmers in third world countries a very cool uh very cool little project i've met the founder Bilal is a cool guy and uh it's on a it's on a blockchain contest so let's take a look at this this we are thrilled to announce that fame has been selected among the top 50 startups for start startup battle at the 10th european blockchain convention it's an honor to stand among the most innovative and groundbreaking startups in the blockchain and crypto technology space we're eager to showcase how fame is revolutionizing the approach to food autonomy and mutual empowerment through financial inclusion and decentralization. Join Bilal on December, September 25th and 6th in Barcelona at the AMA stage to dive deeper into the vision and technology. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Nice to see that they're a finalist in a, uh, this isn't like a, uh, an Algorand specific thing either. This is the actual, um, you know, this is for all, all blockchains. So cool to see an Algorand project, project in there. Uh, how does he describe it? He says, uh, yeah, the web threes farmers, the first web three farmers marketplace. And uh, I got some early fame tokens I will disclose. I also have the original wooden token. <laughs> I don't know if it's wood, was it wood? It's like a, it's like a physical token. It's either wood or leather or something like that. It's kind of cool. I got that at the, the Decipher. So con congrats to uh, Bilal and fame and uh, we'll be following along. Next up, we got some Algorand gaming news starting with Ager Tactics. Um, we're gonna look at what Ager Tactics is up to. So in case you don't know, by the way, Ager Tactics is kind of a Hearthstone style game. I played a playable version of it at, at Decipher. I'm told it's in beta and it's also available or at least to wishlist on the Epic Game Store. So if you, I don't know if you're a Magic the Gathering player, you probably have the Epic uh, game platform on your computer. So you might wanna go ahead and give them a wishlist cause it's always cool to support Algorand projects. Um, but Currently, they're actually working on beta testing. It is Windows only right now, as far as I know. At least that's the way it's listed on the Epic Store. Apparently, there's a private channel in Discord and you can play the game. They fixed a bunch of stuff like being unable to attack, music stops sometimes, um, hand cards cover the screen after playing a spell and collection page, Legends image is going over the border. Yeah, so they just fixed a bunch of little, uh, little buggy things, so. Taking community feedback, fixing it, I like to see that. Uh, yeah, apparently after 30 seconds, you're supposed to get an AI opponent. Sometimes that's not happening. So it's really nice to see this game in actually being uh, playable now. I, I, I enjoyed playing it. I, I, was a, I was a pretty big Hearthstone fan back in the day. I was enjoying that. I also play Magic the Gathering Arena on occasion. Haven't had much time to play games at all lately, but uh, yeah, I really enjoy that. So I'm looking forward to playing this game myself again. Um, like I said, it was pretty far along when I played it, when I played it at Decipher, it was, it was quite playable. I mean, I, I, I was, I was actually a little surprised that it was in development for so long without a beta because it seemed like beta ready when I played it. Uh, that might've been only a handful full of levels or something like that, but I, I really enjoyed playing the game. So be sure to go check that out and go, go add it to the wish, uh, or the, sorry, the Epic wish list. And one more, uh, non, well, let me skip ahead. Uh, speaking of games, there's one called, you might have heard Gunny. I actually was involved in the playtest for a little while for Gunny, but they also developed a mobile game and there's some updates there. So why don't we take a look at this? Uh, this is from Gunny. Now I had alpha tested this, so it wasn't even in beta. 
I was a little surprised at the reaction I got to them sometimes. I thought it was odd that it seemed like when I gave them feedback, they were kind of mad about it. It seems strange because that's what you're doing it for. But anyway, uh, it did seem like it was going to be a fun game. And they said they also developed this this uh, iOS one so version. So thank you to the entire community for voting us on the Xcode proposal and to Non-Fungible Lab for advising us. We want we wanted to share all the progress we've made in such a short time. Here's the new trailer for Gunny Rush that we promised. And, you know, it does look pretty cool. Looks like a lot of fun. As far as I know, this is only on Google Play Store. I couldn't find it on iOS. They might have a version with Playtest that you can play. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it too deeply. Just like for the longest time, and it might still be the case. In fact, with Cosmic Champs, you actually have to play, you actually have to have the play test and play it through that. So um, iOS is really skeptical. Apple is really skeptical of blockchain games. So they're, they've are they been kind of careful about how they release them. So yeah, yeah you can use all five in Noogies in Gunny Rush and start mining Aura. So you can get some, you can do that. They now have a leaderboard with top players, win prizes, a dynamic map in the Gunny Rush. So to make it less... Repetitive, new maps and difficulties are coming, and some Easter eggs. Also, apparently they've improved uh, responsiveness, and uh, we're launching on both Android and iOS, as many requested. Okay, that's cool. At the end of the thread, and then he thanks a bunch of people. So yeah, I'm going to have to go check out their Discord. I haven't been in there in a little while, uh, but it sounds like some cool stuff coming for Gunny. Always fun to have a new game to play, and the gaming ecosystem is really starting to grow. I've been a little surprised that it was a little slow to get off the ground. There's some that I played that I checked out, I talked to at the Cypher that still aren't live, such as uh, such as Trantorian Tactics. Uh, as far as I know, that's completely disappeared. I haven't heard a thing out of them. And uh, Alchemon's gone. That's that one's pretty much pretty much rugged, I would say, <laughs> at this point. Uh, what else? Cosmic Champs is going strong, and they were there. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I play. And then Zone is kind of like falling into disrepair. A lot of people are upset about that. So uh, let's see what else we got in our. Uh, this is one. This one has become one of my new favorites. This is the the Retro Arcade from Hurley and Yomo. I've um, enjoyed playing this one a lot, and they've got a new game called Gravity Gauntlet. You can see it here. Um, I haven't. I haven't played it yet hasn't popped up you know there's there's now six games i believe Let's see what they say yeah six game they the, the fifth one was a uh pac-man clone and i still haven't i still haven't beat it beat it and then there's now this one which looks looks like fun um looks it looks challenging a lot of these all these games are pretty challenging pew 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 i'm pretty good at now that's the one where it's like uh kind of looks like a uh, galaxian or Space Invaders, that kind of thing. So it's a lot of fun. I like these games. They're they're a ton of fun. This is the kind of games that I really enjoy playing. I, I like those old stu old school like Atari style or NES style games. So these are really fun for me. And uh, cool thing is like you gain entry by buying a Bork Bork, as you can see here, or a Zerker or something it's called XRP. So they're they're multi platform. And uh, yeah, that's what that's what you play. So that looks like a lot of fun. Now, I do got two more two more non-game things including this really big news that I'm going to that I alluded to earlier but first is this one we've talked about the tiny man token the tiny token and uh, it is launching on me mexc or mex how did you pronounce that mex which is a centralized exchange offering lightning list, fasting listing speeds lower trading fees and you know all <laughs> Bought in features, maker fees at 0%. Features, taker fees, only 0.1%. So a low fee platform. Uh, they got 1.2 million followers, so that's pretty big. And uh, Tiny will be launching on there on August 19th. So how's Tiny been doing? Let's take a look at that. Tiny is now number four on the TVL charts. A lot of, a lot of stuff locked up. Right behind DeFly. That's a big deal because it's a brand new token already on this top front page. Trading at about 2.5 cents, which is Pretty good for a brand new token. Uh, I think this one is interesting. It's actually up 2.74% on the 24 hours and a little more on the one hour chart. And we don't necessarily have, I'm gonna do four hours. Um, this is this is a really unusual ASA chart. So you have that initial spike up and spike down. This is really typical for ASAs. What happens is they launch, a bunch of people get stuff for free, they sell it off. And I, I got about 150 bucks worth. So, you know, it could have been an extra 150 bucks right there, right then and there. Um, I chose to lock it up, it fell, but then it kind of came back up, which is interesting, and then popped back down again. So 
almost a typical ASA. They tend to, basically with ASAs from what I'm discovering is if you get in on the ground floor, you can probably get a nice little, little pop off. Um, otherwise you're better off just, if it's, if it's already spiked a lot, you're probably better off just letting it settle out and they tend to kind of settle out and then they might, they might start going back up over time. I just typically don't do a lot with ASAs for this reason. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's better to invest in the main coins themselves. And even those are fairly volatile, but these, these take volatile to a new level. In fact, they should put, that would be a good thing for Vestige to put is like a relative, like a volatility index. Be really interesting to see what kind of volatility some of these coins have because it's pretty extreme okay one more and it's short one more thing for you it's a short little news item but it's a pretty big deal i think so i'm not going to not give a preamble to this i just think this is a really cool and important thing that way more people should be talking about but let's check it out and this comes from algorand chief technical officer john allen woods really simple tweet says this transaction was authorized with a MasterCard and settled on chain. It's coming. So this was a test. Do that on Impera. This is what happened. They just transferred two US two cents worth of US dollar coin. And that's not really super important. What is important is that this is the first this was a test of the MasterCard. MasterCard settling on chain. I think this is a big deal. As far as I know, he says, would this work with USDC on Algo? Looking at those fees, it's basically destroying business models of Visa and MasterCard, and I like it. John Lund says, USDC will su be supported as far as I know. What did they buy? Pasta. <laughs> I think there's a pasta brand doing its supply chain on Algorand. I've heard that talked about. So I think that's what the that's what that is about. Algorand Foundation says just getting started. Seeing if anything else is interesting here. I like how they did that. That's pretty cool. So short and sweet, but I think that's a really big deal. That test shows me that Algorand, this is the kind of stuff that I think is really, really important. Right now, not a market mover, so keep that in mind. Um, every time I do any kind of positive news on Algorand, I always get people reminding me that it doesn't impact the price. I don't care. I still think it's important to talk about. But I do hope we get to a day where the market matures and it actually rewards the coins that are, are doing actual business on, on the blockchain and innovating and finding solutions for real-world problems. Obviously, there's a big... There's a big uh, opportunity here with MasterCard and Algorand, and I want to see that develop. And so, yeah, that's why I'm still in the Algorand ecosystem, because I think they're doing the right thing. Do I think it's the coin that's going to make us all rich? Probably not, but maybe someday. But the point, more important thing is, like, I, I like being involved with this technology. I think it's really important. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button already, please do so. Like I said, don't need to smash it. It's a little press. Boom. Done. Also, memberships, uh, you can get these videos earlier, sometimes as much as a day. A lot of times it's a few hours before anyone else, uh, just for $1 a month. And uh, we have some more stuff coming for that too, so keep an eye out on that. And thanks to everyone who has uh, joined the channel membership, by the way. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks so much. And I'm FrugalBC. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the future.